What is up everybody, this is your boy Gaijin Invader and in this video um, I have the uh, Dell G3 gaming laptop with the Intel 8300H CPU and the GTX 150Ti GPU and now I'm running it uh, on idle and um, the CPU is on high performance profile and using the CPU ID hardware monitor software and Intel's um, extreme tuning we can monitor the temperatures of the CPU at idle we can see right now it's at 43 to 45 degrees Celsius and um, I suspect that the thermal paste on this laptop is gone and it will need replacing Right, so here we have the uh, new thermal paste I ordered from Amazon and it is the Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. Right, so what we have actually in the package is this tiny tiny syringe of uh, one gram. Uh, however, I think it will be enough for um, four applications easily. Actually, before we open the laptop and change the thermal paste, um, let's see. This is at idling, 44 degrees Celsius, at only 2% CPU utilization over here. And now let's run a stress test with the uh, extreme tuning uh, utility and see how those uh, temperatures um, rise. All right, so here we go, at 100% CPU usage we get 80 degrees Celsius 90 let's ready run for a little bit and also we can see just on the right the yellow uh, thermal throttling now the stress test has uh, been running for a couple of minutes and we can see on the bottom right the thermal throttling is uh, is reaching its limit which means the CPU die the CPU package is reaching almost 100 degrees Celsius and in order not to overheat and potentially melt everything uh, the core frequency is dropping and that is actually uh, taking some performance back from us known as uh, thermal throttling and you can also see we are thermal throttling right now at CPU usage 100% and the temperature is you know reaching those 98 degrees easily so now what we will do is replace the thermal paste of the CPU and the GPU with the um, Thermal Grizzly Cryonauts and see those results again. Now with the laptop flipped over to the other side and uh, the help of a Phillips head screwdriver we are going to uh, remove the back cover and uh, see what's going on. Alright so now with the cover removed uh, we can see these two fans, one is for the CPU and the other one is for the GPU. And over here we can see the integrated Intel HD CPU die. And we're going to remove these two fans, expose the heatsink and obviously replace the thermal paste uh, under that. But before we begin anything, it is better if we disconnect the battery connector, just right here to make sure we don't shortcut anything. And also, while we are at it, remove those fans and give them a good clean and try to get rid of all the dust in there. This is the heatsink and um, I've just cleaned it with the help of a Q-tip and some pure alcohol uh, from the remaining thermal paste. And now I am going to reapply the new thermal paste using the uh, BB ball um, drop technique on uh, those two dies. This is the GPU die and this is the CPU. And after I will assemble the laptop and do some thermal tests. Alright guys, so here is the G3, Dell G3 
And I have just assembled everything and replaced, as I said, the thermal paste with the thermal grizzly cryonet. And we're going to run the same test using the extreme tuning utility from Intel uh, that we used before and see if uh, we actually get any performance uh, boost and we lower those temps. So let's start the uh, benchmark. And we can immediately see the CPU, CPU usage at 100%. And so far there is no thermal throttling, no power limit throttling. And the, therm the temperature over here is hovering around 74 to 81 degrees Celsius. And if you remember before, we were always uh, above 90 degrees Celsius, hitting those 98, 99 Celsius and thermal throttling as well. So now I can hear the fans, they've uh, kicked in. Alright, so the uh, stress test is just completed and we can see here in the graph the CPU was running steady at 100% and the temperatures, um, we had a peak of about like 84 degrees uh, Celsius. But overall, we managed to drop the average temperature uh, around 20 degrees Celsius. And we were hitting those um, 98, 99 degrees Celsius before. And now we were running steady at about 75 degrees Celsius. That's more than like 20% less. And I think this is uh, an awesome upgrade. And for me, this only cost me a fiver. The Thermal Grizzly uh, Cryonaut cost me only fiver doing the uh, thermal paste swap myself is a huge huge upgrade and i think i will benefit from that in the long term in those long gaming sessions or when you're rendering videos and everything runs just cooler and more quiet because your fan is not spinning like crazy and i hope you like this video and it helped you out and if you want to see more content like this coming please remember to leave a comment below like the video and subscribe to keep those videos coming.